Welcome to this presentation on the MA Museum Practice and Management at Ulster University. My name is Professor Elizabeth Crook and I am your course director. Study with us to enhance your career and knowledge of the sector and industry networks. Content is designed to be relevant to the skills and professional requirements of the sector. By undertaking an MA, we hope you will progress more quickly through your career, securing better contracts and opportunities. We provide flexible modes of study. This museum practice and management programme is part time and distance learning. You also have the option to take one module as a short course, two modules as a PG cert, or four modules as a postgraduate diploma. You can also continue to do the MA dissertation. If you're interested in applying for this course, you must apply online and go to ulster.ac.uk. And if you have any questions about how to apply or need any advice, please contact us at the university or me as your course director. You will also find information online about course fees and methods of payment. And remember, this fee shown on the slide for the master's course is the fee for the three year programme. That fee will be broken down across those years. And should you choose to exit at the postgraduate diploma, the fee will be less than that. So if you have any questions about fees, please get in touch. The Ulster University Museum Studies programme is a leader in its field. It is the first dedicated Heritage and Museum Studies postgraduate programme in Northern Ireland and Ireland. By joining our programme, you will become part of a network of successful graduates working in culture, arts and heritage. And we have graduates working in National Museums Northern Ireland, the National Trust, local museums and historic royal palaces. And internationally, we have alumni in Canada, Greece, US, France, Germany and China. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the only professor in Heritage and Museum Studies in Ireland, North or South. I am widely published in the field with three books and many peer reviewed journal articles. I'm also closely connected with the sector, having served for six years on, as chair of Northern Ireland Museums Council. I am current member of the Museum Standards Programme for Ireland and I'm part of the Heritage Stakeholders Group in the Department for Communities. All of this experience has been essential for me to ensure that the module content is relevant for what you need to know when working in museums. We'll also see here by my list of bullet points that I have a vast amount of other experience relevant to this program. For example, I am external examiner for the master's programmes in heritage studies at the University of Cambridge and the programme at Birmingham University. And this allows me to know better how heritage and museum studies programmes are taught at master's level and to embed our programme in the very best of delivery across the UK. So the Museum Practice and Management programme is a long established and highly respected course delivered by leading academics and practitioners. Should you wish to join our programme, the next starting date is January 2022 and we are welcoming applications now. In January, the module being delivered is Collections, Care and Management. In September 2022, the module is Museums and Culture and you can also join at this moment. The following year, we offer Strategic Management and then Communication and Learning. You have the option in your third year to undertake a dissertation and throughout the program if you're interested in volunteering in museums get in touch with me and i can give you some advice on that 
I've chosen a few images here from Twitter to demonstrate for you how crucial and critical the debate in museum studies currently is. It's hard to miss discussion of museums in the media. And through this programme, we will bring in discussions of questions like whose history, decolonising museums, querying museums, repatriation, engaging the archive, the role of memory studies, and participation and engagement. Key issues for working in museums today. We deliver this programme through Blackboard Learn, which is a virtual learning environment. We provide clearly set out module resources and tasks for each week. You will be provided with a blend of pre-recorded lectures and written lectures that explore the latest practice and current issues and standards and policies. We also provide links to film recordings provided by the sector, as well as reports and best practice. And the weekly use of the discussion board in which you can share your thoughts on reading and contemporary issues means that you will have regular engagement with your colleagues on the programme and the module coordinator. You have the option to undertake volunteering. If you're based in Northern Ireland, I can make connections with local museums for you. If you're based elsewhere, I can also advise on how you can get voluntary experience if that is something that interests you. And if you think it is something that might enhance your employability. On this slide, you can see some feedback we got from a curator about our student and how impressed that curator was. And on the right hand side, you can see a blog post written by one of our recent graduates when volunteering for National Museums Northern Ireland. But your goal when undertaking this programme is a career in heritage arts or museums. And I regularly tweet about new jobs available in the museum sector. And here you'll see some examples of those jobs. So when enrolled on this programme, do let me know what sort of jobs you're interested in so I can best advise you. We were absolutely delighted by this tweet by one of our alumni. She said, I can honestly say this course was the best educational experience of my life. The subjects were interesting, loads of support and the best bunch of people learning next to me. Lifelong friends are the best added bonus. You are about to enrol on a distance learning programme, but you can still have an in-person graduation at Ulster University. So when it comes to the end of your studies with us, let the graduation office know that you'd like to graduate in person. And when you finish the programme, please keep in touch with me. Shona McKay here um, tweeted, my first day as the collections and exhibitions intern at the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands. And I absolutely love to hear those updates from our graduates. If you're interested in undertaking the MA in Museum Practice and Management, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I look forward to hearing from you.